Uh, you made the claim that the comma Johannium had been taken out of the Bible, and this is the only place where the doctrine of the Trinity is actually explicitly taught. Um, if, in point of fact, this text is so vital to the doctrine of the, of the Trinity, could you show me any place in the first uh, 400 years of the Christian uh, experience, so from the time of the close of the New Testament for 400 years after that, that any Christian cited that text as their foundation for believing in the doctrine of the Trinity? Well, this is in the King James Version of 1611, right? It's, it's there in the 66 books here, right? Which many Protestants were using and swearing an oath by, and all of a sudden, Dr. White is thrown out in this one here. I mean, that's, and Christians used to, uh, I, I, at one stage I used to go to the Catholic Church, you know, and many times Christians quote that verse, John uh, 5 verse 7, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. But I mean, this is not really my problem or my issue. This is a Christian. Why is it in this Bible and it's not in this Bible? You know, here's the Roman Catholic Bible. <coughs> 73 books, right? In yeah. this newer version of the Catholic. Excuse me, I'm not hearing an answer to my question. Did, I, did you not understand it? I don't really understand what you're saying. I, I'm sorry, let, let me clarify. If this verse is so central to the defining of the doctrine of the Trinity, can you show me anyone in the first 400 years after Jesus that cited it in defining the doctrine of the Trinity? But it's in your Bible. That's what I'm trying to say, okay. Dr. White. Ch ch chapter 5, verse 7, it's there. You, many a Christian say this is God's word. I mean... <laughs> Come on, man, it's, it's here. I mean, I don't get your question. I don't get what you're saying. All it's right, here. We'll, it's, we'll, it's in we'll, the Bible. We'll, it's we'll, in the King James. We'll, uh, we'll move on. Um, it was your assertion that the doctrine of the Trinity was established at the Council of Nicaea in A.D. 325. Um, could you please uh, respond to these statements made by Ignatius, Bishop of Antioch, in A.D. 107, which is 200 and... Uh, uh, 18 years before that. There is one physician of flesh and of spirit, generate and ingenerate, God in man, true life and death, both from Mary and from God, first passable and impassable, Jesus Christ our Lord, by the will of the Father and of Jesus Christ our God, for our God Jesus Christ, and finally, await the one who is above every season, the eternal, the invisible, the one who for our sake became visible, the untouched, the impassable, who for our sake suffered, who endured in every way for our sake. Could you please explain if the doctrine of the Trinity didn't come about till 325, why Ignatius could say these words in AD 107? The doctrine of the Trinity in 325 uh, was over time, it was a council of bishops. Ignatius of Antioch, provides early support, yes, around 110, right? Exhorting obedience to Christ and to the Father and to the Spirit, right? But this idea of the Trinity doctrine, it came over time. Look at that, 110 after Christ. And nobody knew about it. It's amazing, you know? And then at the Council of Nicaea, the Nicaean Creed came in, the, Ath uh, the Athanasian Creed, right? But, and then still after that, it still continued till the 8th century to be, to become doctrine until it was com basically completed in Chris Christian doctrine. So it actually took basically 800 years. I understand what you're saying, 110 years, but I mean, that's 110 years after Jesus and nobody knew about it. Amazing, Dr. White. Okay, um, you, uh, I would like to get your uh, understanding, please, of the words of Thomas to Jesus when he says in John chapter 20, verse 28, Apokrithe Tomas kai ipen auto ha kuriasmu kai ha theasmu, which I would translate as Thomas answered and said to him, date of singular, 
my kurios, my Lord and my God. Could you please explain these words in light of your assertion that uh, the New Testament does not teach this doctrine, especially in light of Jesus' response found in verse 29? When I met you, Dr. White, I said, Dr. White, my God, it is you. I kind of answered it for you, you know? Right, the disciples were assembled. Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you, shalom aleikum, like we say, salam aleikum. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Seeing and believing. Now Thomas called the twin, one of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, we have seen the Lord. So he said to them, unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Will not believe in the crucifixion, not that he's God. Not believe what? That he's God? No, it's a, that he won't believe in the crucifixion. And eight days, uh, and after eight days, his disciples were again inside and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut and stood in the midst and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, reach your finger here and look at my hands and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but be believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. I mean, he's just putting out an expression. When I met you, I said, Dr. White, my God, you know, I was shocked to see you. I've seen you on the internet, you know, I mean, please, man. It's not even mentioned in the other three Gospels, right? It's only mentioned in John's Gospel. John has, has added his own theology, and John has exaggerated this Gospel of his. Thank you. Uh, I believe that, I've, uh, that was my third. Um, I would like to use my fourth to redirect on the same text, if I could, please. Um, you did not answer uh, a, a rather clear fact. It seems that your answer uh, would be that uh, the phrase, my God, is being uh, addressed to someone other than Jesus. Could you please comment, sir, on the dealer auto in the original language? Thomas answered and said, to him. It is singular. It is not plural. And if you think that there is a disjunctive use of kai between ha kuriasmu and kai and, and ha theosmu, could you please give us scholarly substantiation of the differentiation? Um, the word for, for Lord is, uh, I've forgotten Greek, what is it? Kurios. Kurios, right? Kurios and Theos. Can you put them together? Right? That means it's two parts of the Trinity. That means it's uh, Jesus, the Lord, and the Father, Theos, God. So, I, I, you know, what I'm trying to tell you is, Dr. White, is, you know, it's such a weak case you are giving us. I mean, when I go to court and I call the, the judge, my Lord, my Lord, my worship, am I worshiping? No. You know, it, like I say, show me in the other three Gospels the same story where Thomas said this to Jesus and I'll believe too. It's not there. It's John's theology. John made it up. It's not in the other Gospels. It's amazing. But he wasn't referring to uh, Jesus as being a, a, a God, he's just like shocked and saying, my Lord and my God, that you're alive, man. That, that's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Last question. Um, not out of the Gospel of Mark. It's one of those other, uh, Gospel of John, it's one of those other three. Mark chapter 14 verse 61 says but he this is the trial of jesus but he kept silent and did not answer again the high priest was questioning him and saying to him are you the christ the son of the blessed one and jesus said i am and you shall see the son of man sitting at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven tearing his clothes the high priest said what further need do we have of witnesses you have heard the blasphemy how does it seem to you and they all condemned him to be deserving of death could you please explain how Jesus not only says he is the Son of God, but then quotes from Daniel chapter 8 about the Son of Man 
who has followers who give him latruo, the highest form of worship, applied these things to himself and was understood by the Jewish high priest as having committed blasphemy. Could you explain this text to us, please, in light of your comments? Okay. Um, number one, uh, Dr. White, my position is I feel John's gospel is very exaggerated, right? I would like to know from you right now, is it in the other three gospels before I start? That's the question you asked. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, it's not in the other three gospels. The same story. So again, John has exaggerated this gospel. In John's gospel... Excuse me, sir. I'm not asking yeah. about the gospel of John. The text, did you misunderstand? It's Mark I, chapter 14. I know 14. what you're saying, but I'm putting okay, my point Okay, can we get to that? that this is exaggerated. What I'm trying to say, I don't believe what's written there. I don't believe that, the, that if, it, if that is so important, what I'm trying to say to you is, you see, I'm a simple man, right? I, t I tell you how it is. What I'm trying to say is, is that this is not found in the other three Gospels, right? It's, some, it's John's theology. It's like John 1.1. 1, 1. John 1.1 1, 1, about the, th the Logos and the Theos is taken from Greek. Um, Why are we talking about John, sir? I'm, I'm in Mark. John, which, which Gospel are you in now? This We're is Mark John. chapter four. Let, let me. Right, could we right, stop sorry, the? Sorry, could sorry. we? Could we stop the? And let's yeah, let's yeah. let's try this one more time because right, we're getting, clearly I'm missing getting, each I'm other. Mixed up. Here. All right. Yeah, all right. Sorry. Let me try this one sorry, more time. Sorry. Do you have a Bible in front of you? Yeah. Right. All right. 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 Good news, Bible. Oh well. Um, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> apologize for that. Um, you can tell where my translational prejudice is lying. Right. Could you look at the Gospel of Mark, me please? Mark, right. Mark. Mark chapter fourteen. Right. Fourteen. Verse sixty-one. Okay. So this is not John. This right, is 14, Mark, 1461. Okay. Let right, me read it. 14, Maybe, let me read it again. 1461. Hold on. But he kept silent and did not answer. Again, the high priest was questioning him and saying to him, "Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One?" And Jesus said, "I am." And you shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Tearing his clothes, the high priest said, What further need do we have of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. How does it seem to you? And they all condemned him to be deserving of death. Now the citation in verse 62 is from the book of Daniel about the Son of Man who appears before the Ancient of Days. And the Son of Man in the book of Daniel is given worship. Jesus applied these words to himself. The Jews understood him to be claiming deity. They tear his clothes and said, the, Why do we have further need of witnesses? He's blasphemed. This isn't John. This is Mark. So, can you tell me how you understand that these words could be uttered by Jesus? All right, number one, right? Son of the blessed God, right? He's saying that there's many sons in the Bible, right? Jesus, in the Jewish terminology, Jesus is basically saying he's the son of God. He's a, 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 a pious uh, man, right? <clears throat> and... Je Jesus said to him, you will see the Son of Man seated on the right of the Almighty, right? So that's two persons of the Godhead, the Trinity, and uh, what, like you saying, right? And with the clouds of heaven, the high priest tore his robes and said, we don't need any more witnesses. You heard this blaspheme, what is your decision? Okay, I mean, in all, again, in John, Jesus tells these uh, um, uh, priests of th 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 that that um, you say they say they pick up stones right he says for, for what do you stone me they say for blasphemy he says but I I say that ye are gods I say that I'm just a son of God right so there and here you know I, I don't really have much of an answer for you there <laughs> All right, thank you. You know. Thank you.